it is that time of year <laughs> again. <laughs> we are reaching fall. We're going into fall. And then with fall, we go into, into winter. And so let's uh, talk about us on the streets, on the sidewalks, and, uh, and put some tips in here in terms of safety and what are the, s the safer things that the counties can do for us and what we can do for ourselves to make sure that we can cross streets and get to where we need to go in a safe manner. So let's start right now. folks um, one of the classifications that is important to understand for us is that what what are we classified as you know being on the streets uh, in our wheelchairs and we are classified as pedestrians so hmm, we have to follow all the same rules and regulations that the pedestrians do however <laughs> however one of the problems we have is that we're much shorter and um, the drivers sometimes can't see us or they're distracted and then they only see like, you know, the top of our heads or they see nothing and they keep on going. So uh, a lot of people in wheelchairs uh, lose their lives trying to cross the streets. And so I have some tips for the counties here to help us be safer uh, out there crossing the roads. Uh, one of the things that I would request is that more cross uh, cross areas have stripes because that's when the pedestrians uh, rule and the cars don't. <laughs> so, so more crosswalks with, with the stripes. And then the corners where we have to cross and the cars have the right of way, not in all states, but they have the right of way to turn uh, on red they have to they can turn right on a red so that is a huge uh concern for us in wheelchairs uh our heads are on a swivel and uh we we just cross our fingers and we can we can cross the street without a car turning turning right uh and hitting us so my my cons my suggestion to the counties and to the states is that they put uh, some stripes on those corners, a more protective area around those corners, and put some stripes so the car can't, you know, do that. Um, or, you know, some, some creative painting. In a previous video, I put some, a lot of creative ways to paint the streets so that, you know, it was m stood out more for the drivers. And, uh, but, you know, if they're drunk or, under the influence, they're not going to see whatever we do. So, <laughs> so the drivers out there, please do not drive when you are under the influence. Period. So, uh, because you might hit a pedestrian or one of us in a wheelchair. So, so more stripes around corners and stripes on the cross cross ways. Um, the other thing would be, you know, more, a little bit more time for us to cross the road. You know, when you're, when you're walking, you can get to the other side pretty fast and, you know, comfortably. But, however, uh, for us in wheelchairs, especially in manual wheelchairs, it takes us a little bit longer to cross the streets. So to give us more time uh, to cross. So when there's uh, lights for us, uh, a little bit more time, a few more seconds to be able to cross in a safe way. Uh, I have been considering to up the speed on my power wheelchair <laughs> because <laughs> I'm halfway across and then, you know, the, the thing starts uh, bleeping on me. So, <laughs> so that's not fun. Um, so those are the one of the things that we can do when we're looking at a power wheelchair is to request that it have at least five to six miles per hour on it so we can get across the street in a safe manner. Um, other things that we can do when crossing a street is to make sure that we use a flag. So that's one way. 
Some people say, oh, flag's not cool. Uh, so what I did, which I'm famous for, is to put um, reflective stickers on my power wheelchair. It's a little bit harder for manual wheelchairs to do that. However, there are some wraps that they can use around their uh, manual wheelchairs so that it, it is reflective. And so that when cars are approaching you or, you know, from a distance, they'll see you, they'll see that reflective something and that, that will catch their attention before they're on top of you. So, so reflective material on our power wheelchairs, which is really important. Um, a lot of the power wheelchair companies right now are adding lights to our power wheelchairs. And I, I, would, I want to suggest that all power wheelchair companies uh, just put lights on our power wheelchairs. And for imagine wheelchairs, you can do that too. Um, they have lights, especially at night. You know, some of us rely on our wheelchairs a lot heavily. So going out at night or at dusk, you know, we need those lights. We need anything that will help us be more visible. Uh, so lights, reflective material. And I'm going to leave links for all these things down below, so don't worry about that. Um, timing, stripes, stripes or some creative uh, crosswalk or the corners where uh, vehicles can turn right. Uh, in California and a lot of places, you cannot turn right on a red. So, so there you're, you're safer. Uh, but in my county, uh, we can turn right on a red, so unless it's indicated that you can't. So that, that is really uh, a concern. So I really have to have my head on a swivel. <laughs> it's just very uncomfortable, but it's true. It's the way the roads are, have been designed. So I would request stripes, you know, on those corners where you can turn uh, right so that there's a more protective space when I get off that sidewalk that I'm in the safety zone. So uh, I don't know if that'll work completely, but, <laughs> but <laughs> it's, it's one way to create s a safety zone for when I get off the sidewalk and I'm waiting for the crosswalk to turn in my favor that there is something there protecting me uh, for the right turn for cars. The other day I was just getting off the sidewalk. There was no car there. So I rolled off the sidewalk a little bit, and then this car came out of nowhere and went around me. So it turn, turned on red and went around me, so that was a little, a little scary. But it, it just happens. So we have to design the, the roads, uh, you know, in a safer way for pedestrians, you know, those who walk and those who are on wheelchairs. And unfortunately, we are shorter. So, and a lot of times we're not seen. So I, I wanna invite all wheelchair users to consider a flag when you're outside, when you're going about, round and about. <laughs> and I, I want you to consider also the uh, reflective material that you can put on your wheelchair. And again, for manual wheelchairs, there are some wraps that are very reflective and you can put it around your tubing on the uh, frame of your manual wheelchair. With uh, power wheelchairs, it's a little bit easier because uh, we have a lot of space. We have a lot of places where we can put um, reflective materials. In the back of my wheelchair, I have red, and on the sides, I have uh, yellow, and in the front, I have yellow, too, on the, on the footrest. Uh, but um, in some areas, I just have white. So <laughs> I think I've covered every area of my power wheelchair with reflective material. And, and some of the, the residents here where I live have said, you know, when the sun is shining on me, when I'm coming down the hallway, <laughs> I just light up like a Christmas tree. And that's what I want. <laughs> that's what I want because it's really important for me to be visible, to be seen. Uh, the, the bus drivers also, you know, when they're coming down the street and I just kind of wave, uh, they can see me because it's, it's all reflective material on the side. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> uh, 
I don't want them to miss me. So uh, once in a while on the summer, I'll take a bus. Uh, but otherwise, I'm in the, uh, in the vans for the county. So, so that's helpful. So for us, we can do that for the streets. I ask more stripes or protective areas for us to cross. Um, I ask for a little bit, a few more minutes, a few more seconds on those crosswalk signals so that we can get across without you know, killing ourselves. <laughs> um, so in, and it's important in the fall because there's a lot of leaves, a lot of puddles, and uh, we don't see those because they're covered up, the puddles are covered up by leaves. So, you know, it gets slippery with the leaves. It gets, you know, we splash ourselves and get wet and it's not very good. Uh, so we have to be careful in the fall. And then in the winter, we have the cotton pick and snow. <laughs> so depending on where you live, um, there's just, snow and then we we could get stuck i've gotten stuck in the snow twice i hate it uh so i just really ask for everyone to be considerate and shovel their sidewalks really well uh, i also ask the counties where you know there's a wheelchair user or several wheelchair users or nursing homes that you put up a sign with a wheelchair on it a yellow sign with a wheelchair on it and that indicates to the public that there are wheelchair users in the area, so to be careful. Uh, those signs do exist. So if, if you're having issues in your neighborhood, uh, please call the county and request that they put up a wheelchair sign on uh, the edge of the road so that the public are aware that you live there or that there are several wheelchair uh, users in the area. So. So that also can help. But you know, it takes, <coughs> it takes us to call. It takes us to cooperate and make some noise, talk to the police department, talk to the counties uh, to remain safe on the roads. Because in the winter especially, sometimes people don't have the opportunity, or didn't have the opportunity, or are the kind of people who can't shovel their sidewalks. And we come out, and we need to get to the bus, and we can't use that sidewalk, so we have to go out on the streets. So that is the most dangerous uh, area in that we're in when we have to get off the sidewalk and go down the street. So that's where I'm asking and, and recommending that you put on uh, you know, anything reflective or you know, a flag. So I have a flag and I have the reflective material in my power wheelchair. Uh, and that's going to probably go on permanently once we get into fall and going into the winter. <coughs> Our winter is unpredictable, so there's not like a specific date it comes. <laughs> it just hits, and when it hits, it hits. So, uh, so it's all those struggles that we have to go through as um, manual wheelchair and power wheelchair users. Uh, this is a recommendation. It's a little bit shorter than previous videos. <coughs> But I also want you to put down recommendations that you would have uh, in anything we can recommend and that we could push in our counties uh, will be important to uh, reduce uh, the, the wheelchair users who are struck and killed by other drivers. And before I forget, the other thing you can use are those uh, what the... Um, safeguards for, for kids use when they are on the streets uh, watching the kids so they can cross the street safe, safely. And they use those vests or they use, you know, a reflective strap or several straps. So you can use one of those reflective straps uh, in the front of you so that, you know, if you're facing traffic going down the road, you know, they'll see you. Uh, so, you know, I have one that just fits over, and it's like a double strap you know, across me. So uh, I, I know if I have to get off the street, then, you know, I especially during winter, I'll pull it out and use it so that people see me. All right, so I just didn't want to forget that one. Uh, thank you so much for coming around and uh, listening to me for a few moments. 
if you want to help my channel, there's a great free way to do that, and that is to click on the like button and to share the video and also to make comments, questions, post your experiences. Uh, also, you can uh, subscribe. If you feel like this is a community that you would want to come back to often, then that would be awesome. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Everything is free. The like, the subscribe, the comments, the shares, <laughs> everything is free. So, <laughs> and it helps the channel grow. It makes me aware of what topics are good um, and important for, for you and for the general public. So, safety, let us uh, raise the flag for safety for wheelchair users in the fall and winter. And I will be seeing you very soon in the next video.